Hey everyone, I just wanted you to know that the dining room is finished. Well, it took a while to do the dining room because not only did I have to paint it, but we got rid of the little trim that they put on the side, kind of like a uh, chair rail. And um, I got rid of that and I put wood planks in its place. So I had to cut the wood and of course attach it to the wall. So another thing that we had to do was to replace a dining room chandelier. And it used to be just three lights, but it really wasn't as bright as I wanted it to be. So we replaced it with this beautiful chandelier and it was something that I actually found online and I really love the beautiful glass globes. And so it hangs from the ceiling at different lengths, but I mean look how beautiful it looks over the dining room set. So the previous owners left the dining room for us. It's nice too, I mean it's from Ikea. They left us eight chairs, but we're only using six. And what I did with the chairs is I updated them with these really colorful seat covers that I found online. And as a centerpiece, which isn't really much of a centerpiece, I used some of our little bottles that we had. This was actually a bottle that I got um, when we were in Spain, and it's like a water bottle. And this one <laughs> is a Welch's thing, but it's I like that it's a um, a clear bottle. And this one was, I don't even know how to pronounce it, Glog, Glug. But I mean, look how beautiful that is. I just bought these uh, little fairy lights that are battery operated. So I could just turn it off when I need to. And I just think it just adds a lot to this room especially since I've got this Christmas tree up. We actually bought this nine foot Christmas tree. Again, we bought that online and it was a pretty reasonable price. In addition to the, the wood planks, my husband built this sprinkling. I was so afraid that my grandchildren would fall from this area because this was totally exposed. And this is pretty far. An adult could easily twist an ankle just falling from there. There was like a couple times where I had forgotten that the stairs ended right there. And I was gonna go, you know, down this way and then I stopped myself because I realized that there was a huge drop. For safety reasons, my husband built this and I think he did a great job. So he built it and I stained it with a, like a honey oak kind of a stain with a polyurethane. And I wanted it to look uh, natural. So I think it's beautiful. And I think it goes very well with this dining room. The, the wood floors are really beautiful. And so I actually painted the walls all the way to the very top up there. And I just love that. these beams. Another thing that I did in this dining room is that I painted the windowsills. So the windowsills used to be like a really dark wood stain and it was beautiful. But I wanted people to notice the wood beams that are on the ceiling instead of the windowsill. So that's why I painted it white, but it's like a, uh, a glossy white. So it really reflects the light. And I just think that it adds so much to this dining room. When I'm sitting in the living room, I can look in the dining room and just uh, enjoy this look. And it's very spacious. So that's what I've done so far. Living room is almost finished. I just have to finish painting the foyer area. So that way you can see what it looks like from the foyer 
all the way into the living room. And we are going to start our demolition in the kitchen because we've ordered cabinets or like shaker style. It was this closet area. Um, I want to get rid of it because it just feels like it's in the middle of the room. Just here's this huge wall and all of a sudden there's this closet that's like right in the middle and it's just taking up so much space. I really need more cabinetry and more counter space. So we're gonna get rid of that closet. We're gonna add a pantry. But most importantly, we're gonna add more cabinets and more counter space. So I'm really looking forward to what we're gonna do in the kitchen. Well, we will have to get rid of some of the walls, which is gonna leave like damage to the ceiling and the floor. So for the ceiling area, we're thinking about covering it up with some shiplap. I don't know how difficult that's going to be. I've never done shiplap on a ceiling. It'll be kind of challenging, but I think it'll turn out really pretty. Just so looking forward to the kitchen uh, with its renovation. I'll be sure to post. I guess that's about it. Uh, until next time, God bless you.